Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer on Tuesday the 2nd of November. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. Thank you for joining me today. Let's bow our heads together now as we come into God's presence to pray. Psalm 61 Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you are my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me abide in your tent for ever, find refuge under the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows, you have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Prolong the life of the king, may his years endure to all generations. May he be enthroned for ever before God, appoint steadfast love and faithfulness to watch over him. So I will always sing praises to your name as I pay my vows day after day. Thanks be to God for his word. Now let's pray together. Let us all pray. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and our praise for all that you've done for us. We thank you for the splendour of the whole creation, for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends, for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us the tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your son Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your Spirit that we may know him and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places may give thanks to you in all things. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we confess that we have taken your commandments and turned them into rules. We have criticised those who have fallen short and selfishly proclaimed ourselves righteousness. We have failed to understand the spirit of the commandments and the way that was shown by you to live, loving God and loving our neighbours. Forgive us for turning your law into burdens for others and ourselves, instead of a way to love and freedom in you. In the name of Christ, who has given us the way and leads us on, we ask for your forgiveness this day. So may Almighty God forgive us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, give us time to amend our lives and bring us the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we are continuing to read through the book of Revelation and today we read in Revelation chapter 7, beginning to read at the ninth verse. After this I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, singing, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and might be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these robed in white and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, these are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the centre of the throne will be their shepherd. And he will guide them to springs of the water of life. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Thanks be to God for his word. So here we are given a glimpse 
of the inclusiveness of heaven, a great multitude out of every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages. The gospel doesn't belong to any particular group of people. It truly is universal. And it all depends on the work, the call, the mission of God in and through Jesus, the Lamb who was slain. This great paradox that actually it's by the shedding of his blood that we're made clean. That washing in the Lamb's blood makes our garments white, our beings whole. The hunger that we have for righteousness, for justice, for wholeness and for peace are fulfilled by God. And God's faithful are rescued, as it were, from that second death, not just the physical death on earth, but the spiritual death which closes people off from God. The wonderful news for all. And the challenge for you and for me is to make certain that through our lives, in our prayers, uh, by our actions and our giving and our service, we share the good news about what God's plan is with all who will hear. And we make sure that it is truly global. People from every nation, tribe and language so that they may too come into a fullness of knowledge of God's presence, not just in the future, but here and now. What a task, what a high calling, what a challenge in these days when so many claim uh, to have uh, the answer. But thank God that because of Jesus, we've been given a glimpse of the activity of heaven in the future and the call to service here and now that's given to each one of us. Let's confess our faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Now let's bring our intercessions to the Lord as we pray together. Let us pray. Firstly, today we pray for the work of open doors for the persecuted church and for children who are persecuted because they or their parents have faith in Jesus Christ. We pray that open doors will continue to invest in children and young people through trauma care and education and schooling. And particularly today we pray for children in Nigeria. And we pray that God would keep those children safe in their studies, even as there are many who wish for them not to be educated and will disrupt in whatever way they can. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we pray for the work of BMS World Mission, we pray for Mark and Andrea Hodgkin in Chad. As they plan to install a solar-powered water pump and solar power for the administration block at the supported hospital in Bardai, Chad. We pray for the logistics of the installation and the maintenance and pray that, Lord, you'll keep Mark and Andrea safe and you'll bless them in their work and in their witness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we pray for those in our communities who are elderly and vulnerable, those who care for other elderly partners at home. Father, we hold them before you and ask that you will strengthen and bless and support them and that we may do whatever we can to help them in their difficulties. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we pray for ourselves and for those we know and love in a moment of quiet prayer.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace both now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you today and keep you safe. And until we meet again tomorrow, goodbye.